This is Soph's notes coming to you from self-isolation. I got pinged by the NHS app, so here I am in a mysterious isolation gazebo. <laughs> Hello there, everyone. I'm Soph, these are my notes, and the other day I read an article about a specially made straw that cures 92% of hiccup attacks. Except they don't call it a straw, they call it a forced inspiratory suction and swallow tool, or fist. So it turns out hiccups can be cured with a good fist -ing. Patented or patented as Hickaway, it's basically a rigid L-shaped bit of plastic with a really small hole in the bottom that increases the pressure as you suck water through it. So how does this help yourself get rid of the hick? Well, hiccups are contractions of your diaphragm, which is responsible for breathing. As air forces its way out of your lungs, that's what makes you make that characteristic <laughs> noise. Fun fact, the scientific name for hiccups is singultus, because singult is Latin for catching your breath while sobbing. Hmm, kind of sad fact. Fun sad fact. <laughs> hiccups are caused by particular nerves, namely the phrenic and vagus nerves. Science, hiccup nerves, phrenic and vagus. Vegas, baby. Both of these nerves are part of the hiccup reflex arc, which is the pathway that signals travel along in order to trigger hiccups. Your phrenic nerve connects to your diaphragm, whilst your vagus connects to loads of different things, actually, including your lungs and your digestive tract. So supposedly, if you do something else that stimulates one of those nerves, it'll interrupt that arc and stop the hiccups from happening. So to go back to our hiccaway, what happens there is the higher pressure created by that small hole in the end means you need to suck harder to get the water up and that makes your diaphragm contract so phrenic nerve activated then when you swallow water the vagus nerve is what makes your epiglottis close that's the little flap that covers your windpipe to stop food taking a detour to your lungs so with both your phrenic and vagus nerves distracted essentially by sucking water through this weird straw the reflex arc is broken and therefore the hiccups should stop voila but as someone was quoted as saying in the article that I read about the Hickaway, maybe this is a solution to a problem that no one asked for. Because while it only costs about a tenner or $14, and whilst 90% of people who tried it said they found it more convenient than home remedies, there are definitely cheaper and maybe simpler options to go for, and lots of them. Countless anecdotal cures for hiccups are bounced around, and one of them that's perhaps most similar to Hickaway is where you put your fingers in your ears and then you drink a whole glass of water through a straw. You don't even have to use a straw if you don't want to, you don't have one. If you can manage to balance the glass whilst like holding your ears or if you get someone else to hold your ears for you whilst you drink a glass of water. A short scientific paper was published on this back in 06 referring to it as a miracle cure and I've never tried it myself but having read about it I think it'll be my go-to the next time I have hiccups. Many anecdotal cures you may have come across before rely on some sort of swallowing and simultaneous breath control to activate the right nerves. Shout out here to drinking water backwards, holding your breath and swallowing following whilst you're holding your breath and eating spoonfuls of sugar with or without vinegar. I actually hate vinegar, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, I'm not ready, okay. In all cases, apparently, the slower your swallows, the better. If you don't like swallowing, no worries, it's personal preference. But there are some solely breathing themed cures that activate the phrenic nerve too. A well known example is being shocked by someone, which supposedly helps because of the intake of breath you take, I think. Um, but there's one that I hadn't heard of, which is called the Valsalva maneuver. Now, there are different ways to do this Valsalva maneuver, it seems, but the general theme of them is you take a deep breath hold it in and then kind of breathe out without actually letting much air out. So you can do this in different ways. You can breathe in and then put your thumb in your mouth and then like breathe onto it. Some people breathe onto the back of their hand, but the most common description is that you bear down, which is basically what you do when you're trying to do a poo. But no one on the internet who describes the Valsalva maneuver seems to be able to actually say this. Instead, they say things like, you go into the toilet and you're gonna perform uh, a number two. Or think of bearing down as in performing a toilet procedure. Why are professionals so scared of the word pooing? It's not gonna like ruin your credibility that is what i really want to know 
but it is a video for another time. Also, supposedly increasing the proportion of carbon dioxide in your blood, within safe levels obviously, is something that can get rid of hiccups too. And when you're holding your breath in the Valsalva maneuver, for example, or maybe breathing into a paper bag, this does that quite effectively because you're not taking in fresh oxygen rich air. Then there are a couple of case studies on more unusual hiccup cures that I also wanted to mention. So first there was a 40 year old guy who had hiccups for four days. Now hiccups are categorized by how long they last. So acute hiccups are the short bouts that most of us get, but anything longer than 48 hours is considered as persistent. Intractable hiccups are the ones that won't stop. They last for like over a month. Acute hiccups, the classic ones, are often caused by your digestive system getting irritated whilst you're eating or drinking, especially by alcohol, or by you taking in too much air, like if you're having a laughing fit or something. But persistent or intractable hiccups tend to be caused by a combination of a huge range of other things, from health issues to particular drugs. In this case, this bloke's hiccups were caused by a corticosteroid injection. They don't always cause hiccups, but sometimes they do, and in this case, they did. So yeah, for three days, he tried various methods to try and stop them, kind of anecdotal folk cure method kind of things. On the fourth day, God made the moon, stars and sun, but he also had sex with his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Such a stupid joke. Now in the scientific paper that talks about this case study, it says, throughout the sexual interlude, the hiccups continued, hot, right up until the moment of ejaculation, when suddenly they completely stopped and didn't recur for at least the follow-up period of 12 months. It goes on to say, it is unclear whether orgasm in women leads to a similar resolution, an issue that could be investigated further. Well, seeing as you asked, yes, I will, I will look into that for you. Now, my second unusual example of a hiccup cure actually won an Ig Nobel Prize. Oh, and these are those prizes that are given to research that first makes you laugh and then makes you think. And if you haven't heard of them before, I thoroughly recommend looking up some past winners because they're absolutely hilarious. But the one I want to talk about is back in 06, when Dr. Francis Fessmeyer won the Ig Nobel Prize for Medicine for his work on hiccups that he'd done back in 1980. After finding himself at a loss for what to do with a patient that would not stop hiccuping, eventually Dr. Fessmeyer decided to stick a finger up their rectum, aka their bum, and give it a little massage with the goal of stimulating their vagus nerve. And voila, the hiccups stopped. <laughs> Who needs a fist when you've got Dr. Fran's anti-hiccup care? But if you don't want to buy a straw, swallow, pretend to poo, stick a finger up your bum or have sex, then you will be oh so relieved because I still have my favourite hiccup cure to share. Yes, it's more favourite than sex. Maybe that's not true, but it is bewilderment. <laughs> Did I really just say I prefer being bewildered? to having sex. This is where you ask the hiccupper a question that they have to think about, like, what did you have for lunch last Wednesday? Or when did you last see a white horse? And as they think about the answer, their hiccups seem to melt away. Now this doesn't always work, but when it does, it's feels kind of magical. Something slightly similar is if you have cash on you, like notes, and a hiccupper is getting on your nerves, you can dangle that cash in front of them and say, if you hiccup one more time, I will give you this money and the chances are they won't be able to do it. Now, I found out about that method because I read an anecdote where someone had hiccups on a bus and a stranger did that to them. And so I feel like it must work often enough that it's worth gambling a tenner for. But I'll be honest, I actually don't know the scientific reasoning behind these like bewilderment methods. When I've tried them, it feels like my mind is almost getting distracted away from the hiccups even existing. So maybe that has something to do with it, but I don't know, I don't know. Apparently staring someone down works too, supposedly, maybe due to you like unconsciously controlling your breathing as you're staring at someone, I don't know. But whatever way it works, I bet that coincidence guy on TikTok is like a walking hiccup cure. <laughs> yeah, you still live a life that you dread. Oh, excuse me. Ah! Anywho, as you can see, there are tons of ways to get rid of hiccups, some of which have more scientific backing than others. And I've not even mentioned all the potential drugs that have been implicated as cures for more serious cases. But one of my favorite quotes from a case study I read says that if drugs don't work, you can try hypnosis, acupuncture, rectal massage, ejaculation, and even smoking marijuana. 
<laughs> Even a bit of weed, everyone, if you must. Of course, serious point here, prolonged hiccups are bloody awful and can have a really terrible effect on your quality of life and could maybe be a sign of something more significant that you need to get checked out. So don't be embarrassed, do go to your doctor if you've got hiccups. Just be aware they might stick their finger up your bum. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Or am I? I don't even know, maybe they would. Maybe you'd like it, no. <laughs> that is it for now though everyone. Please do like this video if you like it, share it if you share it, subscribe it if you subscribe it, and comment with any hiccup cures that you swear by. Also, media my socials if you want to do that. All that's left to say then is thank you so much for watching, have a lovely day, and remember to eat dry food nice and slowly. That's a, that's a Soph's note to Soph, if anything, because I always eat dry food too quickly and it always gives me hiccups, so there we go. Although maybe I should do it and then I can try out some of the hiccup cures mentioned, mentioned in this video. Well, the one in particular I'm looking forward to try. Drinking water through a straw. <laughs> and a big old hiccup free thank you to my wonderful patrons with a special science word shout out to Angela, Drov, Brent, Justin and Terry. This video is pure filth. It's rectum, aka their bum, uh, if you hadn't guessed from that action. I'm Freenic, I'm Vegas, and together we make Fragus. Now there are different ways to do this false. Oh, the birds are, are you alright? Having a bit of a fight, I think. I felt there's so many like birds that are like. Wait, 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 wait. Hashtag science. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. That's the end of the video. Here's a link to another one. Here's a link to a lot more that are my favourites. And here's a cheeky little link to my patron. If you want to join the squad. Bye!